founders of the Pirate Bay are definitely going to prison, Apple's gone all Holden Caulfield on the App Store, the $1 promotion, and I message, you message, and assholes reading our messages. This is Recap Bytes. Welcome to the show. I'm Amir. You know what's fun? Invading privacy. Spies everywhere have a new weapon in their arsenal. It seems that a third party can intercept all of a person's iMessages using a fairly simple trick. Just pop the SIM from your target iPhone, put it in your phone, and turn iMessage on. Then put the SIM back. So long as you never put in a new SIM or toggle iMessage on and off on your phone, you'll see all of your target's incoming and outgoing iMessages. You can even send messages as if you were the other person. Although this is a major security oversight, I wouldn't really worry about it much. If you're the type to worry about the content on your phone being seen or stolen, you're not likely to leave it unattended long enough for someone to pull this off. Tumblr has added a new way to promote your favorite content to your readers. For one dollar, you can add a custom tag to it. So far, I haven't really seen much use for it, but we'll see. It certainly is eye-catching, and being able to add custom labels could be useful. Apple has inspired me. They've inspired me to get rid of the phonies in my life, just like they are getting rid of the phonies in the App Store. And I'm going to do just that. I need to get rid of the shit. Apple has removed several apps from the App Store that were known fakes of popular apps designed to confuse the customer and steal sales from hardworking app developers. It's a much appreciated move, but simply bulk deleting apps isn't a real solution. A quick fix that could really help is enabling users to flag an app as a fake. It's a much desired feature of the App Store, and hopefully Apple will consider it. Founders of the Pirate Bay have had their appeal denied by the Swedish Supreme Court, and their prison sentences will stand in addition to a fine of $6.8 million. A major win for copyright holders, but it is unlikely that any prison time will actually be served. None of them live in Sweden anymore, and Swedish law allows for a reduction of 12 months on a sentence if the case is five or more years old. We'll have to wait and see what the outcome will be, but the Pirate Bay is still up and running and is switching more to magnet links rather than traditional torrents, which are potentially less incriminating. Uh, <clears throat> and now for the best app of the week. Everpix is your new favorite photo app. Its premise is simple. Store your photos in the cloud for quick and easy sharing. But what is genius about it is the desktop and mobile integration. Just install them and run them once and you can forget about them completely as every new picture taken is automatically uploaded with no user interaction needed. Maybe the pictures you take are a little on the risque side. No problem, all photos are private until you decide to share. Speaking of sharing, because your photos are already in the cloud, you don't have to deal with any uploading when using services like Facebook and Twitter. Where photos are concerned, this is the iCloud killer. Right now, it's Mac and iOS only, but Windows and Android versions are coming soon. Which reminds me, they're hiring, so get on that already. That's all for today, but I'll be back with more delicious tech news. For now, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at arkmunser, A-R-K-M-U-N-T-A-S-S-E-R, and uh, so long.